This is Ms. Matlatsi Paho, who manifested when the man of God, Professor Lesikho Daniel, prophesied concerning people who disobeyed the word of instruction given to them. And when the man of God was ministering upon Ms. Matlatsi, her sister, Ms. Sarah Paho, also manifested and came to the front. After being prayed for, Ms. Matlatsi asked for forgiveness from the man of God, saying that she disobeyed the word of instruction which Professor Lisiko Daniel gave to her concerning her relationship. And as a result of her disobedience, her life was affected, her studies and her dreams. And her sister, Ms. Sarah Paho, also explained how they were affected as a family because of Ms. Matlatsi's disobedience and they stopped communicating with her because she was now a bad connection to the family because of her disobedience to the word of instruction given to her by Professor Lesiko Daniel. Let's watch. Now when a man of God says do this, don't take it as he tells you to do it. It's the word that you have to do. Be a doer of what he tells you. Are you going somewhere? Why? Please leave me alone. I've taken her. She didn't listen to you. I told her to go back home. She didn't go back. She doesn't listen this one. So she didn't listen. She doesn't listen. What? What? Is that a hairstyle? All right. Sorry. Leave me alone. Ai! 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 The time is up. I'm living. I'm living. Bring her closer as well. Bring her closer. They form a connection. She was going to give birth to my kids. There are still some. Leave me alone. who did not listen to you. So, I'm still saying when a man of God says, do this, it's the word of the Lord coming to you. Go and do it. You become a doer of the word. This is my family. You're disrespectful. I'll show you. family who are called Watella. You are disrespectful. That's 
for the whole family. God loves you. God loves you. Man of God, I came to apologize. Huh? I came to apologize before you and God because I didn't listen to you when you said I must go home last year. And what happened? Things broke apart. I haven't seen her in over a year. And she stays in Pretoria, I stay in Swashanku. I haven't seen her in a year. And you are all relatives. I'm wrong. And it's because she, she was refusing to, 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 to go against you. She said, if I don't listen to you, she can't have contact with me. And she was right. You are a man of God. And I'm sorry I didn't believe you. And I'm sorry I didn't listen. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. If the man of God says, go and do this, it's the word of the Lord coming. So it has affected you now? Very badly. Even at school, even spiritually, I dream bad things nowadays. So it's a matter of listening. It's important. Some of the words a man of God speaks to you, some people take it for granted. Say, ah, so what? I follow my own heart. You understand now, eh? So you're saying, how did it affect you? Uh, at school, I, I've been failing one subject. Just, I'm repeating it for the third time now. And then my mom, she doesn't talk to me because she's also against what I have been doing and even her as well. They've been against what I've been doing, staying with my boyfriend, the father of my child, after you t specifically told me to go back home. So what stopped you when I told you to go back home? What, what stopped you? I just didn't listen. I, I wanted to do things my own way. Hmm. So, but now this deliverance, it's for you. And it also takes breaks this whole time. Eh? So what are you going to do after this? Man of God, I'm going home. I've, I've already went and I'm going for good. You're going home now? You're going to do what is right now. Yes, man of God. Because if a man of God says go home, it's not that person is not even your husband. He's not even your husband. He's not even the one who is to marry you. You get what I mean? Yes, man of God. You get what I mean? Yes. You understand? Yes. So I read you to stop this now. I need to take this thing off. That's what he gave you. Mm. That's what he gave you. Mm. So now you're breaking it now. There's a ring in my wallet. Huh? There's a ring in my wallet as well. Go, go get it, get it, go. Rush, run. <laughs> but let's thank God because it's God setting them free completely. Right? If a person is not yours, it's not yours. If there's a soul tie, it's not a shepherd which God gave you. God says, I will give you spiritual shepherds. So what was it? It was a ring and a necklace. It was a ring and a necklace. Yes, man. What was there for? He was, he was proposing marriage to me. So what did you say? I had said yes, and then recently... Now what are you saying? No. <laughs> no way. Uh, because some people think when you say this is not of God, don't do this. Just but they think ah, this one wastes our time. This one wastes our time. Everybody's looking for marriage. We are desperate. Are we going somewhere? If God says leave the God has got the best for you. Don't be desperate. God has got the best. You understand, no? Yes, God has the best for you. So just just finish everything. It's not some people would be head and say, Ish. People are looking for which this one had marriage. But if it's not in the plan of God, it's not. It's not. You cannot force it. Some you even go, you even go and get married. But now God will show you that it's not, even though you marry. It will show that it's not. If it's not, it's not. What can you do? It's not of God. It's not in God's plan. Are we clear? It's not in God's in God's plan. So why do we have to force? Even when we tell you, we don't have to force to stop you. We tell you once, that's it. God will show it. Mm. 
God will reveal it. You understand? It says it, will, it is God who will give you spiritual shepherds. Are we going somewhere? That's why when he met with the Samaritan woman, he said, where's your husband? This thing is like a soul tie. You meet the wrong one. It's like a soul tie. It has to be broken. You're still thirsty. No satisfaction. Do we love our Lord? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Say, I love the Lord. Say, I'm blessed above all. I'm blessed above all. Say, I'm truly blessed from above. Blessed. So, you, you, you're going home, yeah? I'm going home, man. So, God. you're telling your mom after this, yes, that mom, God. forgive me. I'm going home. And I still say to your mom, I'm asking her to accept you as a daughter. Thank you, my no? No? After this, you can call your mom and then for help, you can come, bring the phone, let me talk to your mom. No? Okay. Just to, for her to accept you. She might be watching now. I'm not sure, but she might be. Yeah, if she's watching now, okay. I'm asking her to accept you as a daughter. But still after this, call her. No? no? You're going back home. No? God is with you. So your sister has been asking you to stop. She told me last year, and then since then, she stopped. Huh? She, she had been telling me last year, and then since then, she stopped because she had communication with me. Mm. You told God. her? Yes, I, I called her last year. I told her, come to church. And then, <laughs> we came to church. And then, she told you what she was going through and you told her to come back home and then you told her to come back home and then to come with the guy here at church it was fine but then she she just left she never came back to church again mm. ever since then and then i tried over and over and then until i realized that you i, I even got rebuked for talking to her because now she was the wrong connection so I had to stop talking to her after that. No, she repents. Are you going to connect me? No, I've You're afraid. You're afraid, of, you're afraid of bad connection. Man of God, I'm free. I've been praying for them, for all my sisters. They are full. It's my brother, it's my four sisters. Everybody. <laughs> Everyone is, 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 is affected. Even my mother is affected. Don't worry. Let's, uh, this is the beginning of sorting out the whole issue. No? <laughs> Don't worry. God loves you. No? Listen, God loves repentance. God loves repentance. Repentance is one of the riches in glory. The wealth in your heart, the wealth of repentance, patience, kindness, those are the fruits of the Spirit. You get it? So God loves repentance. As you repent, I say, I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you right now. No? Yeah, You're forgiven. So God is with you. Just coming and realizing what happened with you after you've been told and this didn't go well. It's a sign. God will always speak. If you realize I'm sleeping with prostitutes and I'm eating with hogs, it's God still speaking, showing you that look how you live. You were supposed to live that way. So welcome back. I welcome you. Okay, you get it? I welcome you. So you can just talk to your mom. Just ask her to accept you. Just say, I say that. If you can't bring the phone now, talk to her. Say, no, take your daughter back. You understand? God is with you. It's painful, no? It's painful because the thing that you are so sure with, there are things that you are so sure with and we can even say it is God who gave me, yet it's not God. Yet it's not God. Do we love him? So let it be God. If it's God, nothing. If God gives you a spiritual shepherd, if God gives you a husband, that husband will be a father. Because you can't remain 
with the husband forever. You need a father. You need a father. Are we clear? You need a, a father. So God cannot give you someone without being a father. So God will give you what is right. Do we love Jesus Christ? Amen. So that's what I'm saying. Even man of God says, go and do this. There are a lot of people you will tell them, go and do this. You train a son, you say, go and do this as a son. God will prosper your ministry. They go, they do it their own way. Later they come because trouble is happening right now. There's more trouble. Because if it's the word of God being told you, don't take it like, ah, this one he told me. I didn't read it in the Bible. Because that's how people, you know, behave. It's not from the Bible. He told me this. Was he speaking by the Spirit or what? Is he in the line of son of David or the Messiah, son of God? Check it. You understand now, ne? So God is with you. You're free. Forget about everything, ne? Okay, man of God. Okay. Bless you. God is with you. Thank so, sister, are you happy now? So much. So much. Ah. She's not a bad connection anymore. She's like my twin. <laughs> yeah, she's not a bad connection. So, can you hug her? So since you saw each other when you spoke to Jasmine? Last year something, I don't remember when. I met her in town, somewhere in town. So you just met in town? Yes. And what did you do when you met in town? Huh? Just said hi and passed. So just hi and passed. Hmm. So you were really a bad connection. <laughs> God is with you. Blessed are those who repent and not keeping on proving that they are right. So how, how old are you? I'm 23. And how old are you? I'm 26. You're 26? Yes. Okay. And Lalekana. God is with you, ne? So let's live for Jesus. Let's live for Jesus. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are watching RTV. Where fulfillment is captured. We have found the Messiah who comes in reconciliation. I'm here with my sisters who will um, introduce themselves and tell you what their story is. Um, please introduce yourselves to the viewers all over the world and also tell us what your story is. My name is Matlatze Paho from Swashanguve. Um, I came to the church last year asking um, Papa Pastor Lesuho whether or not the person I was with, the father of my child, is, um, is, is my husband or is the right person for me. And then he said to me, first I must go home and I must bring the guy here. And I didn't listen to that. Man of God, I came to apologize. Huh? I came to apologize before you and God because I didn't listen to you when you said I must go home last year. And what happened? Uh, things broke apart. I haven't seen her in over a year. And she stays in Pretoria, I stay in Swashanguve. I haven't seen her in a year. And you are all relatives. I'm wrong. And it's because she, she was refusing to, 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 to go against you. She said, if I don't listen to you, she can't have contact with me. And she was right. You are a man of God. And I'm sorry I didn't believe you. And I'm sorry I didn't listen. As a result, um, things started falling apart and um, my family and I broke apart and my mom also um, um, broke away from me and even at school this started to affect me badly at school I had been failing and um, um, even spiritually I faded you know and also um, Literally, the dreams I used to have, they were no longer um, the way they used to be. They, they became bad. They deteriorated. I even started seeing things that I hadn't seen before, but in, 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 in a bad way, not, not in a good way. So um, I made a decision this week after I had a, a very, very bad dream that I want to go and repent for, for my actions because I, I, I know 
very well the source of, of, of everything that's happening is because I was, I was disobedient. So today we came to church and, and Pastor Lesoho was just speaking in passing and then I manifested. <laughs> he was speaking about not listening to a man of God when he tells you to do something. And that's when I manifested. Now when a man of God says do this, don't take it as he tells you to do it. It's the word that you have to do. Be a doer of what he tells you. Yes. All right. Can you please tell um, the viewers at home who you are, introduce yourself, um, and also tell us how this has affected you as a sister? Um, my name is Sarah Paho. I'm from Chair Central. Um, standing next to me is my little sister, Matlati Paho. Um, basically, due to her disobedience, um, it affected me as a sister in a sense that we couldn't have that relationship anymore. Uh, we had to part ways because uh, in a sense it's like she became a wrong connection to me because she did not heed to the voice of the father. So in that sense we just, we, we separated and I believe before that we were very close and then after that we, we stopped being like talking totally, eventually we stopped talking at all. I told her, come to church. And then <laughs> we came to church. And then she told you what she was going through. And then you told her to come back home. And then you told her to come back home. And then to come with the guy here at church. It was fine. But then she she just left she never came back to church again mm. ever since then and then i tried over and over and then until i realized that you i, I even got rebuked for talking to her because now she was the wrong connection so i had to stop talking to her after that no she repents are you going to connect me no i've been you're I've afraid been. you're afraid of, you're afraid of bad connection <laughs> I'm free. I've been praying for them, for all my sisters. They are full. It's my brother, it's my four sisters. Everybody. <laughs> Everyone is, is, is affected. Even my mother is affected. Don't worry. Let's say this is the beginning of sorting out the whole issue. No? And this really, it affected me because she was really like someone that I considered not only because of um, our close proximity, but because of the friendship that we had. I, I considered her someone like a friend to me, a best friend to me. So this really affected me because I didn't have anyone then that I can call like a sister or a friend. Um, our father always says that um, a wrong connection can also be in your house and it will come um, as... Uh, it seems like it will be too good to be true, but then you hear it to the word of our Father and you disconnected yourself. What is it that you can tell the viewers at home that are probably going through similar things or um, are also going through the it's too good to be true face? What is it that you can tell them and what is the advice that you can give the viewers at home that are watching and probably going through the same thing? I'll tell them to listen to the father immediately when he says they must cut every wrong connection within their family because for me at first, um, I, I didn't listen at first. I tried to do things my own way as well. I tried to, to convince them physically that um, this is this is a wrong con I tried to convince them physically. So what I'd advise viewers is that when the father says stop, don't communicate, I mean cut all connections with them. It's not that they are abundant or anything, but it's because God himself is doing something in their lives. God himself wants to convince them. It means that I as a sister, physically, I don't have the power to convince them, but God 
has the final plan. He has the plans that he, I mean, he knows the plans that he has for them. So he's the one in control. So what I can tell viewers is that trust the plan that God has over your family's life. All of them, they'll come back to God. They'll repent as the father. Obviously, also, he's also their spiritual father. So obviously, they'll see all those dreams. They'll see the manifestations and they'll come back to the father. So that's what I'll urge viewers to do, to trust what God has the plans that God has over their families. So God is with you. You're free. Forget about everything. Eh? Okay, man of God. Okay. Bless you. God is with you. So sister, are you happy now? So much. So much. Ah. She's not a bad connection anymore. She's like my twin. <laughs> yeah, she's not a bad connection. So can you hug her? Amen. Um, there we have it, viewers all over the world. She says that you must trust in the word that our Father says. You must trust in the, His guidance. Um, you are watching our TV where fulfillment is captured. It is all about the Messiah. We have found the Messiah, and He has reconciled a family that has that had been broken. To God be the glory.